have you ever seen a star-shaped piece of watermelon? Mm, oh. Let me try that. We're getting ready for our 4th of July celebration. We welcome in Janine Washley from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen. I know I'm going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> For eating on TV, excuse my manners this morning. Janine, I'm just so excited with what you brought here this morning. Well, I'll take it away while you chew, okay? Perfect. I All like right. that plan. Well, you know the um, edible arrangements company that used the uh, cookie cutters mm -hmm. for, you know, to make the beautiful edible bouquets? Well, you can totally break out the Christmas um, stars and make some stars and stripes watermelons. We've got stars and stripes apple slices here. You can use a jicama. Uh, and uh, jazz up your slaw. So yeah, break out the cookie cutters and have at it. You can use the flowers to do like a little flower power salad, but this is our Stars and Stripes watermelon salad. Watermelon is super inexpensive, so definitely use it in fun ways. And plus the kids get so excited, they can hold on to it yeah. and that sort of thing. So this is a delicious vanilla dressing, so we'll put our stripes on. So we've got our Stars and Stripes salad right there. Now, pies. Pies are so um, just, you know, summer, barbecue, cookouts, that sort of thing. But sometimes I feel bad about eating the crust. Right. Look what I did. Uh, I took look at the that. Watermelon. The crust is watermelon. It sure is. So we've got a delicious lemon mousse inside of here. We've got um, our watermelon crust. And you're going to um, put the finishing touches on our beautiful fresh blueberry cheesecake. We're calling this Old Glory Cheesecake. Perfect. So just do something creative, whatever you want. You can sprinkle, you can, you know, drizzle, whatever you want. And you now, were telling me this is a job that I can't mess up. Just you put cannot it mess it up. Just right. dump and dash, and you're done. Right. So um, just put, put a little one. bit of red and a little bit of blue on there. Okay. So, um, something quintessentially American mm -hmm. are those frozen fruit salads. Oh, yes. Now, my mom never made those because that's not really a German thing. Mm -hmm. So whenever we would go to potluck dinners or would be invited over to friends' houses, I would head for the jello salads and for the uh, frozen fruit well, salads absolutely. because we didn't get it at home. So I have um, a love for those. I was asking my husband about it. I said, what is, just, what speaks summer to you, American summer? And he said, well, what doesn't speak American summer it's is a, a frozen question. fruit salad. I said, you're mm -hmm. kidding me. My hopes were dashed. He said, that is why I have a, lo a lifelong hatred for mayonnaise. <laughs> Who wants to eat frozen mayonnaise? So I kept that in mind. So this is made with Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. um, a uh, non-dairy whipped topping. So we've gotten rid of the heavy whipped cream. We've gotten rid of the mayonnaise. We've got Greek yogurt in here. We've got um, a little bit of low-fat cream cheese, and then we've mixed in frozen fruits. So you've cut down on your sugar, right. and we've put them in these cute little orange cups. That's so, great, Janine. So you can eat this, toss it in the garbage, be done with it. You're doing a fantastic oh, job. Thank you. So, you need to work um, on your, your yeah, pie I'm gonna over there. Yeah, I'm going to do this one up. This is a lightened up cheesecake. We've used low fat cheesecake, mm -hmm. we've used Greek yogurt, and we've used, once again, non dairy topping instead of granulated sugar. I used marshmallow cream. How about so that? this is as light as can be cheesecake so that you don't uh, take anything away from your waistline when you're putting on a bathing suit at a pool party, maybe a pool party this weekend because the weather's going to be nice. Or bring it to the pool party. Hey, bring it to the pool party. Janine, for people that would like to get a recipe from you, how can they do that? Well, why don't you go out to the WDRB in the morning site mm -hmm. and um, just hit the link and then come on out. I'll be happy to send you a packet of all these recipes. They're ready to go because July 4th is in a couple of days. So you'll want to go do your shopping. Um, this is taking advantage of things that are on sale, and you'll want to do these things ahead of time. So, you know, come on out, and I'll send you the recipes. You know, Janine, I do believe it's time for my most favorite part. Time Tasting. to eat. Tasting. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hang with us. We're going to taste this fabulous, uh, these fabulous dishes Janine brought this morning. As she said, for more information, log on to our website, WDRV.com.